the more that this channel grows, the more I can really give and serve. Um, so just letting you guys know that. All right, guys, let's get into it. So what is a credit broker? We're going to talk about it um, in the comment section. Uh, comment if you've ever worked with one, uh, the mistakes that you made working with one, or what you wish you would have known working with one. I'm going to talk about my experience working with some but never working with some, and then how it worked and how I, I don't recommend it. Okay, So a credit broker... Um, people watching these videos could be credit or broker. It's helping people get funding, okay? The truth is you don't need one, okay? The truth is if you know how credit works and you know how to apply for credit cards and you know what credit cards to apply for, when to apply for them, and you watch a channel like this, you can avoid ever using a credit broker. A credit broker, a lot of times, is somebody that is has relationships with banks, um, and different financial institutions and knows who they can get approved for for which product so basically let's say I go to a credit broker a credit broker will say are you looking for lines of credit are you looking for personal credit cards are you looking for business credit cards are you looking for installment loans and what they'll do is they'll put together a funding package based on what I'm looking to get right so they could say okay great based on your credit and based on what you make we can we think that we can get you $150,000 or $100,000 of available credit. Would you like to proceed? And then they'll say, "Great. We need you to sign this contract here." It just makes it's like an like an e-signature type of thing to make sure that you're not going to just, you know, take their information and run off to another broker. So, it just protects them where they can sue you or uh take you know have you pay money if you work with somebody else something like that it just basically commits you to them right so they'll send you like an e-document that you sign and then they start uh, applying for things basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna shotgun your credit out to get you approved for as much as they can get you approved they are incentivized to get you as much funding as they can and they know the game probably better than you most people don't know the credit game like credit brokers do because credit brokers know okay great they've had this credit line open for five years that means this bank will give them this and they can really maximize your inquiries and they and I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video why you should do it and why you shouldn't do it okay so they'll really match you with the right products the thing is though is all the stuff that they do you could literally do if you knew how to do it and it's not hard to do it it's just learning what banks you know what banks care about which things right some are more inquiry sensitive some are more credit limit sensitive some are how much funding do they already have are they going to be a risk to this bank so it's just knowing that and then sometimes their relationships can't help them because they can literally call and help help you know basically get a manual override or something like that they know what to put on the credit applications when people don't so they could help you get approved for thirty thousand when you could only get approved for ten thousand so that could matter to you so <clears throat> What companies do things like this? Well, there's a company called Fund and Grow, 0%, all different things. If you Google it, how to get business credit cards, how to get $150,000 in credit, business credit cards with 0% interest, things like that. Those are all credit brokers. Okay. They also know how to get equipment funding. They know how to do all these type of things. But they're going to get compensated off of what you get approved for. Case in point, they normally charge 7 to 10% on what they get you approved for. Here's a, a grimy tactic that they do. Normally, they try to slide in the personal funding. You don't need no personal funding. If you're going to use a credit broker, you get them for the business side. You don't get them for the personal side. You don't need personal credit. You need business credit. <laughs> okay. So sometimes they'll be like, yeah, we can get you 100000 in business funding and 50000 in personal funding. Well, that's, they're probably going to make fifteen grand off of you. Okay. Because what they'll do is they'll... they'll with that contract that you sign, they'll charge one of the cards fifteen thousand dollars, most likely the business card, and then you got twelve months to pay off that fifteen grand. They got their money right away from just helping you get approved for stuff that you could have done by yourself. Okay, so a credit broker, that's what they do. Okay, and they're good at what they do, and most of them can make a lot of money off of ignorance of people not knowing it. Right, it's what you don't know that's costing you. So, 
I, I experienced it. I never actually had somebody get me funding, but I've had many conversations with brokers of what I could get approved for and what, you know, going after the business cards or going after the personal lines of credit, things like that. And I'm glad I never used one because it's unnecessary money. I mean, you could pay that money to get verified on social media accounts and build a personal brand. Okay, so it's not <laughs> it's not worth doing. Okay, um, it just takes some time subscribing to a channel like this and watching all the videos until you learn this thing for yourself. That's what I had to do. That's how I grew it. So with the business side, here here's why you would do it, and here's why you wouldn't do it. You don't want to learn it. You want quick funding. You want business funding. And you want them to get the job done ASAP and get money in your pocket in, in 14 to 15 days. That's why you do it. And you don't care if, that you pay seven to $15,000. You'll handle that later. You just don't want to deal with it. You want the maximum funding so you can keep opening cards and do it that way. I get it. If you don't want to take the time, you don't want to learn it, you don't care, you know there's a fee to do business, it's a big fee to do business, and you want them to set up your business profile right with that, go for it. Have at it. They'll do a great job at it. But why you don't want to do it is do you really want to buy a car for getting credit cards? Because that's really what you're doing. You're, you're spending seven to seven to fifteen thousand dollars on somebody applying for credit that you could have done yourself if you knew how to do it. That's a lot of money. Right? I mean, that's a lot of money. And it's just an unnecessary expense to me but to you it could be different but anyway everybody's got their own thing but I wanted you to know what a credit broker was so when you hear these people talking about business credit cards 0% you know I'll get you 70 to 150 thousand dollars with the business credit cards things like that 0% that way you know you're dealing with a credit broker you can even ask are you a credit broker and they'll like, yeah help people get funding help people get business funding all they do is they know it better than you and then they just put the right stuff down on the application and apply for you. So that's what they do, okay? Don't hate me, hate the messenger. And credit brokers that may watch this, they'll, they'll be like, yeah. If you're a credit broker, put your stuff in the comment section so people can reach out to you if they want to. Um, put down your experience of dealing with credit brokers. Do you recommend it? Do you not recommend it? Um, you know, let, let us know here on the, on, the, on the thing. But I just wanted you guys to know what it was. Check out the playlist on how to build business credit, best business credit cards, best credit unions, all that. It's all in the playlist. You guys can binge watch these things and learn a ton of game. A lot of gems being dropped. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Like this video. Comment on this video. Opinion, advice, anything you want to know. Or just, hey, good video, Rad. Whatever you want. All right? Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.